Hi, John again. Um, just want to talk about the tidal energy turbines uh, for Mount Taylor in Brighton, uh, England. Uh, 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 he asked the question of uh, um, have I got some information for us. Yes, we have. Uh, we, uh, because we are only a small uh, uh, crew um, with a not a big budget, but we've got everything um, uh, more or less uh, on hold until uh, uh, we get to England um, and sort out um, our um, um, political affairs before we put the turbine in the water. Um, just clearing the title uh, on the East Cape. You'll see, uh, you'll see the projects. We've got a project uh, manager now, uh, Hamyun uh, uh, Khan, a Pakistan man. Uh, he's just going through uh, things at the moment uh, with his country and our government. He's got a um, um, uh, visa here for uh, uh, nine months. So we're making use of the time with him. Uh, he's a very experienced uh, man. He's going to come from Dubai. Uh, and um, to put up the uh, um, planning and, and uh, civil engineering uh, for the C12, Malagaro C12 block at the East Cape. That's on our land blocks. I've got... Uh, I've got um, um, at least uh, 98 uh, land blocks here um, on the east coast uh, from Gisborne, Guaro, uh, Apurigi, uh, um, um, Omaio, uh, Tikaha, Pitch Bay, and uh, Tiaroa, uh, Tukutuki, Pagangiangi, Awatere, uh, East Cape, and uh, up to Waipiro Bay. Uh, so um, these are all the titles here. Uh, that I've got uh, as a shareholder, uh, I wanted to show people and uh, people watching in Britain uh, that we um, we've got these titles. So they are the original um, uh, Scottish titles um, that um, have been put together from um, um, uh, um, uh, Britain, and so we're going back uh, and from Australia, uh, New South Wales. So there's all the titles, uh, Matt. Uh, I can't see them, but I'll put them online anyway. I'm going to um, uh, screen them, uh, screen print them, and um, put them, uh, scan them, and put them, put them there. Anyway, we've got a lot of uh, empty lands here in um, on the East Cape uh, to develop, and we're going to uh, get him to get the experts in. Uh, we're hoping to use China uh, at this stage because uh, I've got somebody rang me up. Um, Held a, a, a Fias um, um, put him onto me. Uh, he's a friend of mine. They've been on um, um, uh, Facebook for since 2008. Uh, so I've been here for a long time uh, on Facebook. And it's been very good uh, to uh, get the publicity uh, across to people. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't have happened to get our information out and to share everything that we do. Uh, but um, um, uh, Hamyun will be, um, uh, you'll see the plans that uh, he'll be doing, uh, putting the big um, uh, seawall in the sea, uh, like the semicircles, and um, into the East Island. Uh, that's the first place to see the sun in the world, at East Cape uh, Tipito. Uh, you'll see if Google's marked it on the map, uh, Tipito. That Tipito is the same Tipito as, as um, uh, East Island. Uh, Tipito, the Henoa Island, uh, so that's the um, birthplace of the world, uh, Earth world. We're using that title uh, to um, uh, mark our survey marks uh, there uh, on East Island. That's um, uh, with the Moai stuck right deep in the ground, and that means that it's his title uh, to God's face. God's uh, put that together. Uh, the Makamake planet up there above, uh, it lines up. Uh, magnetically uh, there and uh, on the East Cape, that's midday or midnight and 6 o'clock at the East Cape uh, uh, a.m. or 6 p.m. And the opposite of that, the Antipodes, it's the opposite side of the world, is uh, on the sun side, on the sun side, um, uh, physical sun side, uh, is uh, uh, London and also the Kingdom of Ghana. Okay, so those are the exact 60, 6 p.m. there. 6 a.m. on the East Cape, on that point where we're building the new um, complex uh, for our economy, uh, our uh, uh, hapu uh, whānau will be um, um, housing, will be all planned in, 
uh, around the area and from Rangituke, uh, where we'll be putting, um, uh, building the new ship you see, the um, hover foil uh, ship, the submarine, and it can fly as well. And but we're going to be adapting it uh, there for construction. It will go out and put the put everything, go sink down and put the turbines in the sea and it can rise from the bottom of the sea up right down 3,000 feet, doesn't matter. Uh, it'll get anywhere on the rocket engines that were uh, developed and are planning. And so um, we're going to build it there at Rangitukia. Just to let the people know there, uh, it's a lot of work uh, that I've done. That's why I'm still here and I should have been in Westminster now before the 28th of this month when the, the US Federal State Mischief people uh, change their, their pants and, and put the, the something in the place of the US uh, um, uh, funny money um, dollar will disappear and a lot of people lose their land. That's why they're going around, they're going to foreclose on it. We're hoping to get this through. Uh, if we got to uh, Westminster before the 28th to null the Admiralty Law, uh, they'll probably use the, the, the French Admiralty Law to do their mischief. Right, so that's bad of them to use affidavits uh, as admiralty instead of ships. Uh, so we've got a problem there. Uh, but the British will sort that out. The British uh, government and us are partners. So I um, just want to speak more, uh, not politically too much, but with the energy projects here and in Dover. Uh, to Matt, um, well I'm talking from the east here where we will have our airports for this new plane and a new boat. Uh, the British Lapcat A3, A2 I mean, um, the, with the European Union Commission uh, that I want to go back and do. I was into that uh, earlier time uh, when um, we started off this project to produce uh, a liquid hydrogen jet fuel uh, for that plane and for all the um, hydrogen powered planes. They weren't able to do it because it's not economically viable uh, to make hydrogen from fossil fuel or any other way other than the sea. So the only way we're going to do that, and I'll make this public announcement that we're going to do it hydraulically with the sea tides and uh, convert the, the hydraulics of the water pressure at the bottom of the ocean, as deep as we can, uh, and this by using big paddles and turn that into electricity and we use the electricity uh, produced from that in bulk, I must say, uh, amps more so, uh, and, and split the water into oxygen and hydrogen and then compress it with the hydraulics uh, into liquid uh, hydrogen uh, uh, jet fuel. And then we compress it some more uh, into solid metal hydrogen. But most uh, of all, we'll be using uh, liquid hydrogen um, jet fuel for the jet and leave the solid metal for, for space uh, projects or other, other ways uh, of using uh, hydrogen. Uh, so all our um, uh, transportation, logistics for getting the fuel to land from under the sea is under the sea. We, we're using that ship that we're building. Uh, it's um, a rocket, it'll, it'll travel at 120 k uh, knots, 120 knots, very fast. Uh, fully loaded uh, and come out of the water, come out of the water and go on land uh, just quick. Okay, so we'll be dragging um, uh, the, um, the tanks underwater because they become weightless when we ballast them instead of flying them. We, we, we could fly them, but you'll find you'll burn more fuel if you fly them in the air. So that's what we'll do. And um, uh, we want to go off Brighton uh, and um, um, Dover, uh, between Dover and Calais in, uh, in uh, uh, North uh, France. <coughs> um, we were going to put a bridge across there, but there's already a sub, uh, subsea tunnel going under the sea uh, through there. So there's no need to put a bridge, although our, our uh, tidal energy projects are bridges, um, 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 links of bridges that can join them all together and make a bridge right across uh, a harbour. Uh, but we just put one portion of it section of it in the sea with turbines in it. So that's why it's called a bridge. Okay? Uh, endless bridge. Or um, remote bridge. Uh, so we'll drop one of those into the ocean and, and find the best place. Uh, the tides will be more or less looking at that end of Dover uh, or at the other end of Plymouth. 
Uh, I think it's rougher waters, better waters around Plymouth end of the uh, England. Um, and uh, I think that's the the west side, west side um, uh, oceans. I think it's a bit rougher around there. The rougher the better, uh, where we're going. The rougher the better. The more surge, the more rough uh, direction or up and down. It 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 it, it will make power going up and down in the water or that way or that way. <coughs> Whereas at the East Cape, uh, where we are, um, um, uh, Ranfilly Bank, uh, we're going to put put the turbine on Ranfilly Bank. Uh, then the tide is going one way. It's going up to uh, Chile, uh, from um, come down from Australia, come down to here, uh, to off to Chile, and then up to Hawaii, and across to Samoa Tonga, and then down to Australia, and back around again to the East Cape, uh, North Island, New Zealand. Okay, so that's the direction of the tide, in one way direction. It'll go, keep going, won't stop. These turbines never stop. They never stop. They're air, air, uh, sorry, um, water, water bearing. Uh, so there's no wearing parts in it, um, usually. Uh, and superconducting magnets. So we're getting boosts of energy from the turbine engine, uh, the jet engines, and the rocket engines at the end of the turbine. So these are just some of the things, Matt. Uh, we were chatting about this morning for a long time. Uh, Matt's in uh, Brighton in um, uh, England. Uh, and close, that's close to Dover, around the corner from Dover. Uh, so very interesting. We'll go there and have a look uh, with him and um, um, uh, see where we're going to go with this project. I'm going to uh, let him have ha have a, a bit of information on it uh, to look after the project for me there uh, and uh, and the politics and to keep an eye on the the, the uh, Treaty of the Seas uh, conventions that we are in here uh, in the south. Uh, the same as over there. Uh, Treaty of the Seas Convention. Um, so he's politically minded. He's going to go as a member of uh, Parliament uh, from that area. And uh, if I go there and um, uh, I like the place and we get something going in Westminster, I'll be going to Plymouth uh, on King William's place there and, and um, uh, do some business there um, and possibly um, put something up there. And Jamie will uh, probably uh, uh, want to do the same or she might uh, want to go home to New Zealand, one or the other. So that's, uh, she's my secretary, and um, she's got a, uh, a, a sight on learning as much as she can of the history of the Pacific, uh, and we're going to travel around the Pacific and find where we, um, our um, uh, DNA uh, and our whakapapa, uh, our um, uh, links uh, to um, Tahiti, <coughs> and Cook Islands, uh, um, um, Rarotonga, Tonga, Samoa, uh, and so forth. Uh, so she'll put our history together our way, uh, and Maui, the Maui way, and the history of Maui, because no one's talking about Maui this way. Um, it always seems to be um, the Crown making the making the history up, and and if you'll find that it's uh, uh, bigoted and uh, and bent, uh, out of shape. To, to put themselves uh, as the indigenous uh, people here when it's not. That's what the trouble is uh, of um, Maori, Maori, the name Maori. Uh, you can see I put an article there from 1947 when they legislated the act to use the word Maori uh, for the tribes here uh, instead of native, you see? So we um, uh, native uh, is uh, Maori. You have to be your original self to keep your identity and keep your culture. So Maori's, uh, Maori's got a culture, but it's only a 1840s Treaty of Waitangi from, uh, from a, a deal with the Queen. You see where the Queen's fallen apart, so they fall apart, you see, because it's on that side. They're the debtors. Everybody in Wellington here, uh, Matt, uh, the political party in Wellington, they're from Australia, New South Wales government, you see. and. Um, uh, so there's their skullduggery, uh, screwing all the people, um, the same uh, uh, temperament as the Queen, screwing everybody, and you run off with the money, right? So that, that uh, bad, uh, bad egg uh, attitude is going to stop. There's no more of that. But they are going to stay the said uh, debtors. I'm just going to put a, a notice out uh, that they only have a certain amount of time to join Moai and cut off because they're all under contract. They're all under contract from that time 
Memorial, 1840. And the Moai uh, Hapu is under contract to Britain uh, as party uh, uh, partners uh, from 1835, right? Um, 1835, and they're trying to make everybody go to 1840. Well, they, they can stay there. And uh, very few people on 1835 side left. Uh, so we're, we're going to link ourselves up and it's not, no one can change that, only us. Only us, me, you, and Hammond uh, can change that contract, okay? I'm just telling you what to do. And you follow, you follow, and you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong uh, because they've been at this for a long time. I've uh, spent uh, about 15 years to put this together, just to put this together. It's taken about eight years to put the tidal turbine project together. And... Um, uh, many trips and many uh, many me meetings with the natives here to try and make them talk together, but they won't. And uh, it's very difficult because we've got the park here. We've got the, 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 the pirates in Australia uh, mixed up and the blood is, is contaminated, contaminated, whereas the British have got a clean cut run straight through. Okay? The British are okay to talk to, not these ones in Australia because the pirates weren't there. Those were the, the prisoners, the convicts are talking. They're running the government over here. The convicts are running the government. Adam and Clark and all lot. What they do? Promote them to the UN. You see? The UN is corrupted. The NATO is corrupted. The whole lot of them are corrupted. Get down to the Queen. Right? And the Vatican. And the, uh, look at the Vatican now. You, you see all what's happening in the Vatican. It doesn't look good. But that's how they operate. That's their culture. That's their culture. It's quite separate from me and you. In Britain, it's quite separate. We, we, we've got a business going on here between us. That's that business. You see what they're doing with that business, right? They don't care about what we do. And so we're going to just cut them off, like what uh, Philip Hammond's doing, cut them off. You see, he's doing the right thing. That uh, one point to you, uh, Philip Hammond. Uh, very good. Uh, we're quite, quite happy with that. And uh, Salmon, so, uh, Salmon um, he's um, making his mind up uh, whether to go or come uh, and, stay, uh, and stay where he is and uh, not uh, uh, chase after the European Union and have his mind over there and living over here with uh, Westminster. So make his mind up, right? Otherwise, it's um, uh, being Scotty, uh, that's, that's our business. Scotty, Scotty is our business. The, the, the tidal energy project, is already shares going in Scotland, you see? No one does anything about it because it's just sitting there. We're going to roll it over in October the 30th because it's running from the 30th of April to the 30th of uh, October. So there's a billion shares running now and standing still, not going anywhere. But it doesn't matter because we'll roll it over into New Zealand and then over to Russia or China, maybe China, next, you see? So we'll pick off the next country that we can go and put it into, uh, whoever's going to invest in us. So the project, um, uh, Matt, <coughs> the tidal turbine project is quite a big uh, uh, thing to absorb in a short time, and all the specifics of it, I just told you what it is, and what it makes, and how it works with the big paddles on the water. You have a look at the diagram. You'll see it's just a plain, ordinary uh, system, but very powerful, very powerful. The tide is very powerful. Uh, and can make a lot of power in a short time, in a short space of marine space, right? Not much room. It only needs uh, uh, 50 square meters volume of column of water. That's it, just to produce a lot of power. It might get, out of that, you might get 300 megawatts, right? Anything 300, 500 megawatts just from that area in, in power. Right? That's with superconductors and rocket engines, okay? Running off the power, self-running the power. So we're going to do that. The, the idea of putting it at Dover was to fuel the planes up and fly from there. And we have planes fly to London and to other places on a short um, to bring them there and they hop on the long flight, okay? So we have other hydrogen planes with short range uh, to get from there from the main airport will be on the bridge uh, out in the water uh, off Dover or off, um, off um, um, uh, uh, where you are in Brighton uh, 
if the tide's strong enough, we'll fit it over there, the airport, the international airport uh, to New Zealand and the rest of the world in the 250 countries. Okay? It'd be one of those is an airport, international airport, and very short runway. It doesn't need long runway for these hubs and things. And they'll get up quick. They'll get up off, 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 off the uh, bridge very quick. Uh, but that'll be all the uh, uh, about uh, 2,000, 3,000 people working on the bridge and living on the bridge. Okay? Um, and they've got all the processing factories, fish fisheries, um, and tourism, hotels, undersea hotels, washing turbines and all that sort of thing. Right there. Uh, big economy from a small area. Okay? So that's the whole idea of putting those right around the world and, um, and build them. Uh, we'll be uh, going to South Korea uh, and uh, build the first one there, and um, Kawi, um, Kawi uh, design engineers in uh, Denmark uh, will we'll go across to there from London and see them, uh, because they already got our plan there, uh, and build them up there, and uh, Nova Scotia and all that places where these turbines will be uh, very handy to put in the rough places. It doesn't matter where it can go, as long as it's deep, uh, swift current, rough, uh, more the merrier, all right? And so these ships we're building uh, don't have to go and float on top of the water anymore. Everything's pulled down underneath the ocean. Uh, safer and quicker and cheaper to um, transport things around. Big, heavy things are all in the bottom of the ocean, in the big, you know, big, uh, big ships. Uh, so, um, um, yeah, so that's us uh, with the turbines and, and everything at the moment. So we'll see you again. And um, we'll carry on here and uh, get in touch with um, Jim back to work. And uh, it'd be nice to talk to you again. And we'll see you again soon. <laughs>